Hello and welcome to the Movement for a Female-Led Society. I am Tierica Patterson, the founder of our new Female-Led Society. I will be initiating this movement across the United States and across the world. We're headed into a new era, the era of a Female-Led Society, where the leadership of women is embraced and preferred. Do we love men? Of course we love men. There's no way that we can't love men. Men are powerful, men are amazing, men are helpful, and we will stand next to them as we initiate this transition. We will stand together to create world peace through the empowerment of women. So today I am excited to talk about a new topic I saw in the news. I saw that Saudi women would, are now getting divorce confirmations by text message. Isn't that interesting? So apparently women in Saudi Arabia was getting married and their husbands were divorcing them secretly without telling them. And now there's a law that once a husband divorces his wife in Saudi Arabia, she will get a text message to let her know. Because what was happening, these men were divorcing their wives and not telling them. So the wife couldn't, the wife couldn't um, file for alimony. Or maybe he was even still trying to sleep with her at the same time and still treating her like a wife, but without the obligations that he thought he had to her. So now women are being more protected in Saudi Arabia and they're being informed that they're being divorced. Isn't that interesting? So this article was interesting to me because remember last year, or was it 2017, just very recently, they lifted the ban for women driving in Saudi Arabia. Women were not able to drive. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about 50 years ago. I'm not talking about I'm not talking about in the 20s. I'm talking about in 2000, in the teens, 2017, 2018, women were not allowed to drive. They view women as property. So now the women have the right to, to drive. What, what don't they, what can't they do? Because their rights are still limited in Saudi Arabia. What can't Saudi women do? This article talks about it. They can't apply for passports. They can't do any of these things without the permission of a man or without having a man accompany them. A man has to be with a woman if she wants to do any of these things. Apply for passports, travel abroad, get married. She has to have permission. Open a bank account, a man has to be with a woman. Start certain businesses, get elective surgery, or leave prison. You have to have permission from a man to do things you want to do in life in Saudi Arabia as a woman, I cannot imagine how these women must feel. How they must have, been, must have been ingrained to believe that they were less than men, that they were inferior. How angry some of the powerful women there must feel when they know that they're smart and capable, but they're restricted by law not to express it. Well, guess what? All of this is going to be taken care of because in our new female-led society, there, men have no right to tell a woman what they can and cannot do. In fact, the man's privilege and his duty is to empower women, uplift women, and make sure women have the support they need to achieve all of their dreams. So we're headed towards creating world peace by allowing men to be supportive and empower, empowering to women. And you can be a part of it by visiting femaleledsociety.org, signing up subscribing so that you can see all the different ways that you can be an active supporter of this movement. We want to ensure that every woman in Saudi Arabia is awakened to her new abilities and new rights. These women in Saudi, Saudi Arabia are just as brilliant, just as intelligent, just as majestic as any other women in the world and they also need to be free to express their brilliance into the world to drive when they want to drive, to make decisions when they want to make, to decide who they marry, to decide if they want to get married or not, to say no, to step out into the streets and decide what they want to do, if they want to go left or right, it's their choice. The women of Saudi Arabia will be freed. This text message, <laughs> you know, law being enacted is just the beginning. It's an alert. It's a signal to every woman in Saudi Arabia that your time is coming. Your time is coming for your freedom. This was a signal that your time is coming for, for your freedom. Every time you get that text message saying, oh, your husband divorced you, it's time to wake up and realize that no man holds your soul. No man holds your rights. No man 
has the right to tell you what to do with your life. It doesn't have to tell you what to do with your body. It has to tell you what to do with your time. You own all of that. And in very short time, you will see what I am saying. You will experience what I'm saying. And you will experience the beauty of freedom. And this world will experience the beauty of world peace. Congratulations to the ladies of Saudi Arabia on this new um, achievement. There are many more to come. I am pledging to stand with you. Who am I? I am T. Erica Patterson, <laughs> the founder of our new female-led society, the author of A Manifesto for a Female-Led Society. Society, please do. Join us at femaleledsociety.org. Share your wisdom. Stand with me. Let's make this a worldwide movement. We can do this together if we decide that we want to take a radical, a radical path to world peace. It's possible. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon.